Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is the Cowboy Brisket Burger. Today we're gonna to be cooking one of the most popular cuts of beef for barbecue, it's the brisket. But we're not gonna be smoking our brisket today, we're gonna to be grinding our brisket to make burgers because as it turns out, brisket meat ground up from the whole packer, one of the tastiest possible beef cuts that you can use to make your burgers. So let's jump right in by trimming this brisket down and getting it ground up. So here we have a 16 pound Angus Packer brisket. Uh, this run about 2.98 a pound. So if you think about, we're gonna utilize 100% of this thing, fat and meat and all. We're just gonna cut this into strips to grind. 16 pounds of beef for under $50. And I would go ahead and grind up the whole thing because whether you're using this for burgers or to make your red sauce, your bolognese, and I would go ahead and just grind up 100% of this. So whether you're using this for your burgers, for sausages, for your pasta dishes, whatever it may be, this is a really good price on a fantastic cut of beef. So you can see we've gotten down to where we've got the flat as well as the point. The point of course has a lot more fat in it, the flat a little bit more lean, and that's why you wanna do this all at once so you can get all of that incorporated. Now this will have a pretty high fat ratio, so if you want to, you can go ahead and take out some of the really big hard pieces. You probably lose a very small percentage of the weight, but some of that stuff is probably just even more fat than you really need. So some of these strips are just about the right size for our grinder. Some of them we need to take down just a little bit thinner but that just depends on whatever kind of grinder you're using. I might cut out, again, a little bit of this excess fat. We don't necessarily need 100% of that. But you're gonna get pretty close to 100% yield when you're grinding up a brisket like this. So once you've got this cut down to size, I'm gonna get the grinder set up. Today we're gonna be grinding on the anchor shroom. And I've got all of our components have been sitting in the freezer overnight so that we can keep that fat just as cold as possible. So we've got kind of a medium sized die here. We're gonna run this through twice to get the desired consistency. All right, so we're gonna kick this on and start feeding our strips of brisket. Go a little bit faster. So you really get a sense of the fat ratio when you see how much white is in there as compared to the red. We're probably gonna have about a 70-30 grind here today as far as uh, meat to fat ratio goes. All right, so there's the last of it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this into the fridge just to make sure it stays chilled because it's kind of warm outside today. I don't wanna melt any of that fat. All right, so we chilled down the beef. We've chilled down the equipment. We're setting back up for the second grind now but make sure we're keeping everything nice and cold. All right, we're coming up on the end of the second grind here. You can see as this is coming out how the fat and the meat have really incorporated now. That's one of the great reasons to do a second grind just to get everything kind of well incorporated, but also we end up with this consistency that we really like for the burgers. So not super fine, not too chunky, just right in the middle. So we got the last of it coming through now. We're gonna go ahead and shut this off. This is warming up just a little bit again. So once again, we're gonna go ch chill this down, probably just for about 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna take out about two pounds for us to make our brisket burgers today. And the rest of it, we'll package up and throw in the freezer for later. We've got a couple of condiments to prepare for our burger today, starting with our smoky cowboy caramelized onions and mustard. So we're going to be caramelizing some onions down on the griddle on the grill. We're going to mix in some smoky mustard. That's gonna be one fantastic tangy, sweet, caramelized condiment to go on the burger. We've also got our cowboy sauce, which we're gonna mix up, very simple. So I'm gonna get those things started as well as some of the bacon that we're gonna put on the burger. Then we'll get into the burger patties and we'll bring it all together. So we're using a yellow onion. We want a yellow sweet onion today. Gonna to take this down to halves, peel it up. And I just want nice thin slices of our yellow onion. 
Today we're going to be cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. We're running hickory pellets at 450 degrees and we've got this set up with our Yoder griddle in place right over the firebox, no diffuser, so our heat's going directly onto the cast iron griddle. I'm going to start by getting our onions down, but first I'm going to lay down a little bit of clarified butter for those onions to cook in. A clarified butter is great for this because it's got that great butter taste, but it won't smoke as easily as whole butter. I'm gonna hit this with just a little bit of smoked salt to help start to bring out some of the moisture. Scoot that off to the back. We're also gonna get our bacon going. We're making double cheeseburgers today. We're gonna make sure we have plenty of the bacon to cover every patty that we've got. All right, I'm gonna throw a small skillet on the right side of the grill now. We'll close this up and let our bacon and onions start cooking down. When our onions get to where we want them, we're gonna transfer them over to that skillet just to keep them warm while we continue to cook the burgers. Everybody likes their bacon done just a little bit differently. I like a little crunch on mine, but I want a little bit of chew left as well. So keep up on your bacon, don't walk away for too long. All right, last of the bacon is coming off now. Onions are still cooking away. Might as well give them a little love in the bacon grease, right? They're getting softened up a bit. We're getting some caramelization on the edges. Definitely got a bit more fat than we need on here, so I'm gonna go grab some paper towels so we can sop some of that up. All right, I like where these onions are at now. I'm gonna move these over to the skillet. Let them chill out on the side. I'm also gonna add our smoky cowboy mustard at this point. So this is a yellow mustard base. A little extra sweetness, a little onion, and a little smokiness. And we'll just let that kind of reduce down in there and tighten up. So now we've got the mustard, the onions getting happy in the skillet, reducing down. In the meantime, we're going to put together our cowboy sauce, just very simple condiment here. We've got a half cup of mayo. Going to add to that a quarter cup a Firebug Mild, one of my favorite barbecue sauces. And then just a tablespoon of pickle juice for that tang. I'm using jalapeno pickles because I like that flavor. You could use any kind of pickle though. So let me get in here and mix this up, get it smooth. Oh yeah, sweet, creamy. Tangy. You're gonna want a bucket of fries to dip in that. We'll save it for the sandwich. I spent about five minutes. We're gonna finish that off and pull it off the grill there. So now it's just down to the burgers. I'm gonna scale out quarter pound patties. We're gonna do double burgers with quarter pound patties here. So four ounces each. We'll ball those up, move them over to the sheet pan. And then we're just gonna form these with the ring mold. We're gonna smash these down once we get them onto the griddle, but this will give us a good head start on the shape of the burger patty. Now you notice we haven't added any seasoning yet. This is just pure brisket. We're gonna give it a nice crust of a salty barbecue rub on the outside once we get over to the griddle. All right, so we're going on the griddle with the burgers now. I'm gonna press those down just a bit. There we go. That sizzle tells me we're immediately starting to create a really nice crust on here. Now we haven't seasoned the side that's down on the griddle right now. But we're gonna go ahead and season the tops. For the seasoning, we're using Our Butts Are Smoking, our beef rub. So lots of great savory flavors for a barbecue rub. Salt, pepper, garlic, all the good stuff. And as we flip this over, this is really going to crust onto the surface. All right, just about two minutes in here, we should have a really nice crust formed on the bottom. 
Yeah, look at that color. Beautiful. So once we get that flip down, we're not gonna do any seasoning on this side. We'll have enough on the other side. We're adding a little bit of salt with the cheese. Speaking of which, we've got pepper jack and American cheese on here. Great melting cheeses. I'm gonna go ahead and put our bacon back on there just to warm up. Get the rest of these guys flipped over. As these burgers start creeping up on that 150 range, we're gonna start to pull them off. 150, 155. Start pulling off our double stack burgers here. Love to get a little bit of that crusty cheese off the bottom with it if you can leave some of the fat behind. All right guys, it's time to build burgers. We're gonna start with our cowboy sauce on the bottom of our toasted brioche bun. We're gonna to top that off with some thin sliced lettuce. Might as well have a little bit of green and crunch in there, right? Something fresh on this burger. Speaking of lettuce, if you're getting ready to make this burger at home, maybe have a salad first, right? Here we come, double patties. You could totally go single patties on this, but you know we like to go big. Top that off with our cowboy mustard onions. And finish it off with that top bun. All right, there she is, the cowboy brisket burger. Slice it open and see how it looks. Dang. Looks delicious. I gotta figure out how to get my face around it now. Mmm. Man, I love that the mustard's the first thing to hit the tongue. Was that sweet mustard with the sweet onions and the tang? So good. The bacon crunch and then the crusties from that burger. You can't get that without a griddle, or a cast iron surface anyway. Adds so much crunch and flavor to the burger itself. Cowboy sauce is on point. I love that it adds a little creaminess, and you get that barbecue flavor that's coming through. Have a salad, have a burger, have a nap. Thanks so much for joining us this week for the Cowboy Brisket Burger. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all of the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.